haven't honest an illustrator if you're new here if you're not new thank you so much for hanging out on my channel this year I've created a little challenge for myself I wanted to draw one a6 size drawing every week for the whole year um, giving me 52 drawings and hopefully by the end of the year basically a deck of cards I haven't done any planning I just draw what comes up each week I wanted to share with you in this video the process behind some of these drawings that I've already done. I've done six, it's week eight, so I'm two weeks behind, which is pretty standard for me. I'm gonna try and catch up and keep up. Um, I'm gonna try and keep chipping away, see if I can get there. And I hope that the drawing process is kind of interesting for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions about my creative process or my drawing process anything at all my life as an illustrator i probably will do a live stream soon so um yeah drop any questions that you have um also feel free to like subscribe or comment other than that i'm just gonna jump right in and share with you the drawing process behind some of these little cuties thanks for being here So the illustration style that I use with these little illustrations is something that I've started to do quite regularly. Um, it's one of my favorite ways of working. So basically it's a little bit of a mixed media approach, um, but there's no painting involved, which is um, what suits me. I don't really feel super comfortable with painting. So I like to use the alcohol markers to give it almost a little like washy watercolory effect underneath. Um, you get a good feel and coverage of color. So I like to place them around a little bit scribbly first. I like to use a couple of different values within each color. I hope that's the right word for it. Um, you know, a dark blue and a light blue, dark yellow and light yellow. So once I have the alcohol markers down, I use color pencil over the top. My favorites are the Stadler Aquarelle ones. They're like the watercolor pencils. I don't use them as watercolor pencils, but I like how much pigment they lay down. Um, I do kind of prefer them to Prismacolors at the moment. I know they're like the one that everyone uses, um, but so far I just really like the Stadlers. So I just use the colour pencils to build up colour, bring in a bit of detail and just kind of draw out the contrast in the picture. Now we're kind of getting into the fun part which is drawing in the details of the face. This is the part where the trusting the process starts to pay off, things start to come together, and it's all gonna be okay. I was really trying to push myself a little bit to use a range of colors. Um, so I was trying to introduce a bit of these dark blues and dark purples over the yellow. Um, in other places, I was introducing a kind of olive green or an orange, um, just to sort of use colors that were a little bit different to what I usually would, um, just to build up the vibrancy and really try and throw everything that I had at the drawing.
And so just to go into the concept behind these drawings a little bit more than the process itself, what I was sort of setting out to do was to draw one drawing every week for a year. I kind of wanted to let them arrive fully formed, unquestioned, unedited, unjudged. Um, just the idea as it was without me trying to plan out a whole 52 drawings or themes or making sure I wasn't doing duplicates or ideas that were too close together. Um, I was just trying to let the ideas just be, just accept them and get them done. So you can see there I'm adding another one that I didn't actually film the process of, but it is just another part of the collection. Like this one, um, moving on to the second concept that I filmed the process of, it's the cicada. With this one, I think I planned out maybe a little bit harder. Maybe I was sort of letting go of my grip on the unedited and unjudged idea thing. Um, I had to sort of think about the form of the cicada to make sure it looked exactly how I wanted it to look. So I feel like this one might've been a bit overworked, um, a bit more than the first one. You know, your first idea is usually always your best one. So I kind of feel like I lost my way a little bit with this one, but I always do love a good cicada drawing. So I did have to see it through. some ways this drawing was a little bit more complicated there ended up being a bit more depth and detail it just overall took a little bit more than the first drawing dark colors and the detail sort of came out on this one probably one of my favorite drawings of a cicada that I've ever managed to pull off so I was really happy with how that came out and how all the colors came together for this one I'm not 100% sure if the word that I attributed to this card was maybe a little bit trite, a little bit um, easy to predict. Of course, the cicadas move in cycles. They sort of represent that whole idea of a life cycle with all their little stages that they go through. But like I said, I was trying to get the ideas down without judging them too hard or trying to edit them as I was working. So. I just let that be and if I, at the end of the project I want to come back to it and sort of reassess whether that's too literal or too trite, uh, maybe I'll come back to it and change it. I don't know, see how I feel in a few months. Anyway, so that's a bit of the process behind the first couple of instalments of my hopefully year-long project. Um, hopefully I'll be able to do some updates and make it to the end, I guess. 